Hey, what's happening guys? Today I thought we could take a look at this. It is a spot welding system from securemall.com. These are used for uh, making up battery packs, you know, like for batteries. You can see here we have the uh, parts for laying out the batteries and the strips for connecting them. Couple of electrodes, some more electrodes, a foot switch, wow that is really heavy, 10 to 14 volts. That is heavy duty. Holy cow, look at that. That's some heavy duty wiring right there. All right, let's figure out how this guy works. So looking through the manual here, it does not give you a whole lot of information about how to hook this up. This tells you how to set the, uh, the controls and whatnot but not about hooking it up. So by going online, I have found that this guy here is the uh, automatic spot weld thing. So you put your little electrodes in those holes there. And this is the manual pen for which you would want to use the foot controller. Now I don't know that I have enough of a power supply to use this, but we're going to find out. Okay, again looking at the instructions, it tells us we need focus, 10 to 14 volts. So I've got it hooked into the power supply, 12 volts, uh, 6 amps. Power it up. And we get our weld pulse duration. This is what the instructions say to set it for 2 millisecond pulse to start out with. So I'm going to turn it off for right now. And we will hook in the automatic welding pin. I've installed the electrodes into the end of it there. And then this is the output here. It's one of these XT90 connectors. And the foot switch. What did I do with the foot switch? The foot switch is here. I will put one end of that on the floor. And we'll plug it into the foot switch connector. It came with some of these uh, strips that you use to join the batteries together. And I've got a uh, nice LiPo battery here. So let me adjust the camera and we'll bring her in. All right. Again, I don't know if this is going to have enough power to do this, but we're going to find out. So we'll power it up. Pulse duration is set for two milliseconds. Cut off a piece of the uh, joining strip here. We'll put that on top of the battery. At least we'll try to. Then we will touch the electrodes and I will step on the pedal. Here goes nothing. Which is exactly what I think we had. Nothing. Try again.
volts during okay it says volts during pulse zero zero estimated amps zero zero two millisecond auto pulse battery alarm short pulse short pulse and pulse uh, I don't know. Let's try it one more time here. Yeah, we're not getting anything at all. I don't know what's going on there. Volts during pulse zero, estimated amps zero. Hmm. All right. I have shut off the auto pulse for manual mode. Let's try it again. We're set for a three millisecond pulse. Again, we've got nothing. You see here, volts during pulse, zero. Estimated amps, zero. Hmm. All right, we'll try it for lower. I've got it set for a one millisecond pulse. And here we go. Nothing. I'm guessing I don't have enough power. But it doesn't even look like it's trying to draw any power. Um... How well you guys can see the power supply here, but it's drawing uh, 0.22 amps right now. Let me set this up. We'll try a five millisecond pulse. Keep an eye on this, and you're going to notice there's really not even a. Okay, now it says 0.45 amp, 22 amp. Okay, there's a little bit of jump in current, like it's detecting something here. Step on the pedal. Nothing. Yeah, I'm not getting anything at all. Hmm. Well, I guess this is going to have to wait until I get a better battery to try and use with this. All right, so it's been almost a month since I started this video and I had to wait until I could get my hands on a powerful enough battery. So hopefully we're going to make this work today. We're going to use the automatic welding pen, which has a little switch right in there. You can see it right there. And when we press down, it should activate the switch goes through this connector here and into what I believe is the foot switch then we connect up the XT90 out and then we have our XT90 in so we're set for five millisecond pulse let me get some of the uh, nickel strip here. If <laughs> I get it to cut. There we go. So. All I should need to do is move this back further away from the camera. And press down. And uh, it worked. It worked quite well.
Let's do another one. Get my arm out of the way. It welds them up pretty nicely. It took a little bit of force to pull that off of there. All right, let's try it again with a 10 millisecond pulse. And I'll see if I can't get you a little closer in. Hang on. While we adjust. Good. All right, here we go. Very nice. Do you see the little spark that time? That's on there pretty good. It's very nice. So there it is, the SQSW1 spot welder from Secure Mall. And it is available from Banggood for $215.69, TomTop $216, um, Cafago $257. You can even order it from Walmart online for $227. And uh, you get everything except the, uh, the battery. You got to come up with your own battery. You know, it even comes with the nickel strip. So that is very cool. And I would like to thank Secure Mall for sending this out to us for our consideration. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.